Hi, good morning, everyone. This is Seeking Sustainability in Japan. Today, we're talking about travel outside of the cities in rural Mie and Nara with Akiko Hayashi. Thank you so much for joining, Akiko. Thank you for having me, Joy. Good morning, Now, everyone. Okay. Uh, now, just to shout out at the beginning,、uh, I was recommended to get in touch with you from Stacy Kurokawa. Now, Stacy joined、uh, this talk show last year talking about forest therapy and some of the projects that she's doing.、Mm-hmm. Um, yes. Now, you are a graphic designer. So, we're、yes. going to talk about some of your art and graphic design. And you also organize the social media for East Nara and Nabari, Nabari tourism, tourism, right? Yeah. How did you get interested in graphic design and art? Can you remember a time when you first got、oh. really interested? I have always been interested in drawing. Layouting things on paper since I was little. So I don't remember when, but I went to,、uh, I didn't go to、uh, art, art college. I studied English and intercultural communication in college. But gradually I felt like, oh, I want to design something. So I. <laughs> After graduation, I, yeah, I decided to become a graphic designer. I started, I had to start all over again. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's sometimes, and it, it seems like you, you had another turnaround、uh, in recent years moving back to Mie after、mm-hmm. living in Tokyo. Was that because of coronavirus? I saw your quote, you can work from anywhere now. So, <laughs> is, that, is that the reason you went home? I wrote、uh, before the pandemic.、Uh, actually, I moved back to my hometown in 2012, 2012, because of that big Tohoku earthquake. I had based in Tokyo for about 15 years, but after that earthquake, Um, yeah, I, my family and I decided to、uh, move to, you know, move out of a bit, that, that big city. <laughs> I think a lot of us、uh, had a chance to reassess what we want to do with our lives, right? During coronavirus or. Here she talks about as a working mother. How she learned how to keep things simple in terms of daily bento making for her children's school.、Mm. Now, another thing about being a mom, which I, I love about your feed, is talking about bento. <laughs> Now, any, any mom in Japan <laughs> feels so much pressure to make the beautiful bento <laughs> that you see and your kids. Might、Japanese、complain、mom. if they if they see the beautiful bento of the other kids, right? But I'm I'm with you. Keep it simple,、yeah. keep it healthy. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So that's uh I was watching this American、uh, dramas or shows on Netflix, and、um, the mother. In that show, was making a bento, I mean, lunchbox、uh, for her child. And I was shocked. Eh? That's so simple. And well, so, so we, I was like, what are we doing? So it should be, you know, simpler. So it's just, you know, lunch. So maybe. Like rice ball and some, you know,、uh, eggs, t-、uh, cherry tomatoes, and yeah. And my daughter. You don't have to make、that. it too complicated, right?、Mm. 
Yes. Yeah. Yes. And even though a lot of the schools have the hot lunch, like for us, we're a vegetarian family.、Mm. And I know there's a lot of international information about how wonderful washoku lunches are.、Mm -hmm. But in our situation, it was not typical Japanese food. So, like,、mm. even kitsune udon,、ah, which is、yeah. usually vegetarian,、mm -hmm. they were adding chicken for some reason. So oh, we had、right. to send bento like almost every day. <laughs> mm, 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 mm. And、uh, I had to talk to the nutritionist, and she had to check that I was giving my kids enough protein and enough, you know, good, healthy balance and everything.、Mm -hmm. Um, but making a bento was a big part of my life. And I love your last post saying, last bento, right? Yeah. For your daughter. <laughs> I, I was surprised so many people liked that tweet. Yeah. And she said, thank you, Arigato, for three years. Oh, wow. That's that, so nice. That reward.、Right? Yeah, was everything. <laughs> To me, Kare <laughs> sama, right? That's so nice when your kids say thank you. That's so rare. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> And you were making bread, homemade bread too, right? For the sandwiches? Yes. Good for you. Sandwiches, because uh, uh, we don't, I think、uh, you know that we don't have、uh, many, you know, good, especially in small, you know, in a small town, we don't have many,、uh, many good bakeries. And all the bread I buy, you know, is too sweet. <laughs> I don't like to, you know, sweet bread with dinner, with、yeah. food. So, yeah, I, I, I interviewed a very talented baker in Hiroshima at Oheso, is his bakery and cafe. And he said, Japanese, typical Japanese bread is like dessert bread. There's、yeah. so much sugar inside, right? And for now, we are vegans, so it's really difficult to find vegan bread in Japan、oh. because most has milk and eggs、yes. inside. Very unusual to European bread, which is mostly vegan just、mm -hmm. anyway.、Yeah. Um, but did you find we found that when I started making bread,、mm -hmm. we reduced the amount of plastic packaging a lot. Because、mm. we were buying so much bread, all the plastic bags for、mm. maybe four slices or five slices.、Wow. Yeah. So, making bread was a really great way to make healthy food, but also、mm -hmm. to reduce the amount of plastic. Did you、uh, find that as well? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think so too. And I bought this, you know,、uh, carbonated water machine, and that. It reduces plastic bottles a lot.、Uh, but, but to use regular, <laughs> regular water and then just add the carbonation and then you just reuse that container, yes. right? Yes. Yeah. I,、mm -hmm. I challenged myself last year never to buy a pet bottle, plastic、mm -hmm. bottle.、Mm -hmm. And it's so difficult because so many of the machines now, it's almost all the plastic pet、right. bottle, right? Because they're but, light. Yeah. It's such a big problem in Japan because the image is it's getting recycled, but actually,、mm -hmm. less than 20% is recycled. Most of、oh. it is burnt. So it's much better if you can use reusable containers、mm -hmm. or choose the glass one or the metal one, and then、mm -hmm. that can be recycled, right?、Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's difficult in Japan to reduce plastic, right?、Mm -hmm. How about、uh, cans? Cans have a, cans. Cans are better because better. cans have a value、mm -hmm. in the recycled chain. Plastic、mm -hmm. has no value,、mm -hmm. right? So that's that's a problem.、Okay. Glass and metal is better.、Um, yeah. Reusable is the best. So、mm -hmm. if you can find like a retro Coca Cola machine where you can drink the bottle and then wash the bottle, reuse the bottle, that's that's better. Or <sighs> that's take your own、yeah. bottle. Yeah,、mm -hmm. and fill it up. Yeah, that's、mm -hmm. what we should aim for, right? This section is about her original creative design and learning how to do traditional Japanese kintsugi repair on ceramics. 
Yeah. So you've you've done a variety of different work, uh, like logos for different businesses, as well as travel, and uh, even New Year's cards. Right. What what <laughs> kind of design work do you like the best? Because um, you did some training in San Francisco, right? You've worked in design both in English and in Japanese. Do you notice a difference in style, like what the client wants or what the user wants in oh. English versus Japanese? Uh, I didn't work in、uh, San Francisco. I just studied Study, graphic、right? design、yeah. there. And、uh, the big difference is、uh, in in Japan. In Japanese, we have to design vertically too. So you know, in English, all the layout is、uh, from left to right horizontally. But in Japan, we have to learn vertical design too. So I think it's more complicated, and we have more characters. So I thought it would be more interesting to me as a J- Japanese. So that's why, oh, I maybe I didn't need to come back to Japan, but that's one that that was one of the reasons that I wanted to、uh, design in Japan because I wanted to deal with vertical layout. So I studied it from zero. From in Japan again too, I had to start.、Uh, I had to learn how to do it in Japan again. But I love your use of balance and and space. Quite quite often, the print the print media in Japan is is quite good for this balance of、mm. space and and text, right?、Um, but even online, when I look at your work, I'm very impressed by your use of of space and、oh, pictures. Yeah,、thank、very、you. nice and simple, very easy to follow.、Um, my husband and I, we've made magazines and and maps in the past for Get Hiroshima and and doing a vegetarian guide as well. So it it seems really simple, but to create a simple design is actually difficult, right?、Mm, yes, yes. So minimalism that's that's more difficult. Difficult than you know packed busy busy design.、Uh, I was taught that graphic design,、uh, it, well, well, space matters. Graphic design is about space, so you, know, you don't put everything in space, but you have to leave certain space to make it look,、uh, you know, better, attractive. Definitely.、Mm-hmm. And I think we are so overwhelmed by text, especially now. Most of us are looking at it on our phones, right? Very small screen.、Mm-hmm. Um, so having space and very easy to follow graphics or logos and very easy text to read on your、Thank、phone you. is is really important, right? No,、uh, you're doing yes, yes,、so、right now. Has your style changed over time? Because this is a website design that you did as well, right?、Yeah. I ha- I think now I have my own style.、Mm. I was struggling with、uh, making my own style when I was younger, but right now I think I have my own.、Mm. Yeah, it's it's difficult, right, to、uh, make your own unique look. Uh, yes. As a designer, I imagine,、mm-hmm. because there's there's so much available out there that if you do have something unique, it's not difficult for someone else to borrow your、mm-hmm. your style, right? Yeah. And of course, everybody borrows from each other at least a little bit. You get inspiration from yes. other yes. artists and、mm-hmm. yes. and designers, but and still things- have your own look is important.、Mm-hmm. Yes. How do you get inspired for new ideas? I saw that you went to the Louvre, the Louvre in Mie. <laughs> huh? What? Ah, you went. You went to the sister, the、oh, sister that, of that, Louvre, right? Yes. This place was. It was so much fun. Oh, everybody should you know go there, but it's not very famous. I I don't know why. 
But all the sculptures, statues were very, very well made. Those are all replicas, but, but official replicas. <laughs> But it's still interesting, right? It's, it's different from just looking on the internet or just looking in a book. Like, even、mm. if you're seeing a replica of something, maybe you can never go to Paris yourself,、mm. right? So it's still interesting. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. So we checked all the details because my daughter、uh, has to、uh, draw those sculptures. For yeah, in, entrance for the entrance exam. So I see, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're, you're showing the real one on your phone, right? And next to, next to、yes. the replica, I、yes. like that. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> now you, in terms of doing your own art, you've also been doing kintsugi. Now, kintsugi <gasps> is a great example of sustainability.、Mm-hmm. Because If your dish is broken a little bit, it's a Japanese traditional style of repair, right? That, that's Can right. Can you tell me about doing kintsugi?、Uh, I knew of kintsugi, but I didn't know the, the, the exact process or steps. But、uh, you first, yeah. First, you have to use urushi, urushi lacquer to put broken pieces together. So,、um, this bowl is, wasn't、uh, really broken, but it, it had this、uh, how do you say, crack <laughs> streak or whatever. And you have to apply urushi la-、uh, lacquer. Before you apply、uh, golden powder. So, and it takes so much time to reach the final、uh, gold powder、uh, phase. And I haven't, I haven't even started, I haven't even touched the, the, the gold thing yet. <laughs> and you put urushi and you have to leave your.、Uh, Ceramic wear at least for about two weeks. That's why it takes so much time, but that's, that's how、uh, ancient people <laughs> uh, repaired uh, you know, ceramic wear.、Oh, thing. Wow, like that. that's so interesting.、Um, I'm reading a book by Hannah Kirshner, and she did woodworking. And then she used the traditional lacquer technique of urushi、mm-hmm. uh, to cover the, the woodwork.、Mm-hmm. And she's talking about how poisonous it is, right?、Oh. So you have to have lots of gloves. So be careful、mm-hmm. when you're using urushi.、Um, we had a beautiful urushi tree. It's gorgeous,、mm-hmm. right? It's beautiful、yeah. in autumn, gorgeous、yes. leaves.、Mm. We didn't know it was urushi. And it was, it was poisoning our neighbor. Every time he picked up the leaves, he would have cuts on his hand.、Oh. And he said, Can you please cut that tree down?、And、we're like, Yes, of course. We didn't know, right?、Yeah. You have so, to yeah, be、watch. careful.、Mm-hmm. Yeah, when you、uh, work on kintsugi. So I, yeah, I have to be really careful. Yes. Yeah. But that's interesting. You're using the traditional techniques. Right? Hmm. Yes, because、uh, the, one of the areas that I'm working with uh, is uh, considered the originated place, the birth of, of urushi trees or urushi, urushi lacquer techniques or whatever. So that, and they have. Where, to, where is that?、Uh, Sony, in, in Nara, Sony Village. In Nara. Mm. It's called Sony Village in Nara Prefecture. I so- have a, a picture, a, one、yeah. of your pictures from Sony Village of doing、yeah. the cycling there. Yeah. So, It looks really beautiful. Yes, that the mountain is very unique. Unique And, shape, yeah, yes, of the mountain. They,、uh, they, I, They, were, they would use the, the techniques in, in ancient times. So, 
So they are they are trying to promote urushi techniques, and they、uh, have workshops of those kintsugi. So I joined. I joined it. It was my first experience too. <laughs> That's great. I, I love to hear that these traditional techniques,、uh, which are more sustainable, because you're repairing something that、mm. you're going to use longer,、mm. um, is coming back. We need more of that. Yeah, definitely, it's coming back. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And now, this section, she's talking about how the overabundance of bamboo is being utilized. By local schools and local entrepreneurs to create products and workshops and tourism and travel appeal for the area by creating a bamboo light up event. Now, another example of something I hope to see more of in Japan is reutilizing bamboo, using bamboo in different ways.、Mm. Now, you have lots of great photos of a bamboo light up、um, illumination project,、mm-hmm. which、yes. is happening until the end of January, right? Can you tell us about it?、Uh, it's,、uh, it is being held until January. The 31st, but、uh, the, the place is called Akame 48 Waterfalls in Nabari City, Mie Prefecture. But it, it's gonna be、uh, closed during the New Year's 28th or, or,、uh, to 2nd. So,、um, but then it's open again after、yeah. a short break and、yes. then open until end of January, right? Right. And、yeah. so, those bamboo tubes are from abandoned bamboo because、uh, there, they, there are a lot of forest,、uh, bamboo forests, forests in the city, and they have to thin the bamboo to maintain the forest. And so people were, was, you know, oh, what, what, what are we going to do with these, you know, abandoned bamboo? Oh, okay, maybe we can、uh, do something with these, you know, bamboos. And then, then they, uh, uh, they are doing this.、Uh, Since when? So it, this is the third,、uh, it's the third year this year, I think. Yes. So it's, it's, a, it's a great idea、mm-hmm. to bring people, because in, in Japan, in many places, we have illumination、mm-hmm. activities, right?、Mm-hmm. A way to get outside. It's cold, but it's pretty, right? And then you can enjoy the view in the forest with all the beautiful lit up bamboo. And then hopefully go and eat some hot zenzai or something to warm you up. <laughs> Maybe amazake, heat it up like a non alcoholic or even、yeah. alcoholic sake.、Um, but this is a great idea. I love it. And I, I read about、um, the SDG project to get the reuse of the, the bamboo that they use to cut down to、yeah. thin the forest, to maintain、mm-hmm. the forest. And then, like you said, finding a way to reuse it, but also teaching the students how to、yes. do it so、yes. the students could learn about reusing、uh, disused materials, yes. right? Yes. And yeah, that's what the local people are doing. And also,、uh, they have uh, uh, many bamboo lantern making workshops in many.、Uh, Um, areas in the city, and then、uh, by making the lanterns, people are you know connecting each other. That's what I heard. So, and also, they I heard they are trying to create new businesses、uh, with bamboos, for example,、uh, for example, making you know, little. Uh, Memma. <laughs> Do you know Memma? Memma, it's a little、uh, brownie little thing that you put in a ramen. Ramen.、Oh, 
Well, so well, using using edible parts of the bamboo. Yeah, edible parts. Yes, yes, yes. So somehow they are gonna cook. I don't know, but but uh, uh, anyways, they are trying to create a new a new businesses to uh, help the area thrive more. And that's connect. great. Yeah, yeah, that's great. Uh, bamboo is more sustainable than a lot of other kinds of materials that we can use, like mm-hmm. a wood. Um, it grows so fast. It's like a weed, right? And uh, Winifred Bird, when I interviewed her in the series last year, she wrote a beautiful book about uh, foraging culture in Japan and forest, forest food. So mm-hmm. finding f- wild food. Eating Wild in Japan was her book. And she went to a restaurant in Kyoto Mm -hmm. where they had 10 courses of food all made with bamboo. Bamboo, different kinds of food, 10 different courses. And so maybe that's something you should suggest as well, right? A bamboo specialist Mm -hmm. course, right? Um, And then how bamboo used to be used for everything. Ben yeah. in Japan, bamboo mm-hmm. chopsticks, bamboo baskets, yeah. bamboo hats. And then when that stopped, when bamboo was used less, mm-hmm. then bamboo uh, was not farmed anymore mm-hmm. and mm-hmm. kind of became a problem. Mm. Because yeah. before, when it was used so much, it was never a problem in the mm-hmm. forest. So yeah. really interesting. We need to use it more, I think. Yeah. Uh, I. We have a lot of, uh, there is a lot of uh, forest reuse cases in the area that I'm working with. So in the, in the Yoshino area, they have a lot of cedar trees and they make a sake keg or barrel with those trees. And then uh, also they make chopsticks out of the the old barrels so yeah so we have some you know forest reuse cases so mm. that's great yeah uh when i visited kamikatsu in tokushima uh there were some groups trying to make the barrels for Mm -hmm. the bansha Mm -hmm. because the bansha used to be made in wooden barrels and then they started using plastic Mm -hmm. barrels but then the taste was not as good So they want to go back to the wooden barrels, but there's Mm -hmm. very few places making the Mm -hmm. wooden barrels. So they Mm -hmm. were also using bamboo, trying to figure out how to make the wooden barrel. Mm -hmm. I also talked to Miso Factory, Hanemitsu Miso in Mm -hmm. Hiroshima, and they also are looking for wooden barrels. So I think this could be big business Mm -hmm. around Japan if you make good wooden barrels, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. Sake tastes different from the, yeah, uh, kind of what what kind of wood they use for the barrel. Yes. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Sake, miso, uh, shochu. Yeah, shou- I heard shou- as well, right? And uh, bansha shou- in kamikatsu. Mm-hmm. So lots of different traditional yeah. products. Yes. Mm. Right. But um, maybe one of the things that you're also encountering is the lack of money for the wood or the bamboo from Japan. Mm. So you need to create more of a market to Mm -hmm. increase the value so that it's worthwhile for people Mm -hmm. to go and get the bamboo or get Mm. the the wood from the forest. Mm. That's part of the problem, right? Yes. Mm. Yeah. Like you mentioned, (laughs) Stugi. The cedar tree, right? There's too much sugi, cedar tree all over Japan, right? But they told me, they told me in Kamikatsu, one tree is only worth 1,000 yen. Sen yen, duck it. So it doesn't have enough value for the staff to go and collect it and bring it down, right? So if we create more demand for mm-hmm. local wood or local bamboo, then hopefully the price will go up and we can create more yeah, of a hopefully, yes, I hope domestic, so. domestic system, right? Yes, because yeah. the domestic trees are very good. They're high quality, so yes. Definitely. Yeah. Keep it local, right? <laughs> yes, yes. Now, uh, you often go to the rural area to help promote 
uh, tourism in the rural area. And there were so many beautiful photos on your ENN tourism Instagram, which you're managing, right? Uh, is autumn, autumn looks like such a beautiful time to visit. This is, uh, this temple is called Muro Uji. And it's, uh, it's one of the most famous temples in Nara Prefecture. It's a big temple. And uh, from, uh, so it had, this temple has accepted women from the, from ancient times when uh, Koya sang. Uh, didn't accept wi- uh, women. I I interviewed a woman from mm-hmm. England who yes. became a Buddhist priest mm-hmm. in Miyazaki as mm-hmm. well the other day. So that's a really interesting connection, right? And mm-hmm. Koyasan does it is so famous. Mm-hmm. We also talked with the filmmaker Felicity about uh, her working in Koyasan. So she's mm-hmm. going to talk about that more in January. But yeah, mm-hmm. so interesting that this is welcoming to women. This is uh, this is called the Women's Temple, Women's Koya. Mm. That's so beautiful. Such yes. a stunning place to visit. Yeah. Yes. Here she gives examples of how an old school is being reused in Uda, an area of Nara. This is in this is located in the city called Uda city. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so this place used to be a uh, sc- elementary school. And now in Japan, uh, you know, uh, population is shrinking. So a lot of schools, elementary school, junior high schools are closed down and merged into, you know, one, you know. And we have a lot of uh, vacant, uh, unused school buildings and so they uh, turned into this uh, interesting uh, facility and you can yeah yeah you can have you you can uh have like taking picture party how do you say shooting photo shooting party (laughs) Um, a lot of cosplayers and they take pictures uh, in this venue and post them into onto Instagram and they also have uh, yes beautiful maple trees from all over the world what how many species about 3,000 yeah 3,000 maple trees yeah and it's such a great way to reuse the old school building mm-hmm. which is not being used and i love that idea of bringing in cosplayers to pose and take photos inside the old school that's great yeah. and they have I've- a guest house too Yeah, I talked to some people, uh, like in Kochi, talking to Violet, Mm -hmm. and she was talking about uh, some people have started a guest house in an old Mm. school. Mm. Yeah. Mm. It's great to reuse the old buildings, not just knock Mm. them down, right? Yes. Here she introduces the natural beauty of Ago Bay in Mie Prefecture. Beautiful! Natural views. This is Ago Bay, is it? This, is, this place is in Mie Prefecture, uh, so uh, called Shima, 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 Shima region, Shima region. And then that 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 beach was other, uh, another area of Mie Prefecture because we have a lot of. You know, we, we have mountains, beaches, and yes, our but So we are located uh, close from Osaka and Nagoya. So you get off Nagoya and take the Kintetsu, or you get off at Shin Osaka, and then take local train to Namba, and then you take Kintetsu. So, Kintetsu Railway. <laughs> I'm like a promoter of Kintetsu Railway. But yes, 
that's the easiest and most comfortable way to access our area. And the hub station is called Nabari to get to the west part of、uh, Mie Prefecture and eastern part of Nara. Yeah, but I recommend visiting there either in autumn. In、uh, and spring and summer, because summer you have uh, th- there are a lot of campgrounds and you can swim in the river. But winter, you get you might get to see frozen waterfalls, so that is something different. Different, ah, yes, yes, so winter, yes. <laughs> So, in winter, if the climate weather is perfect, you'll get to see this kind of rime ice. Do you know rime ice? Hoar frost. So, you get to see frosty mountain. In- Here she introduces the Good Wolf Craft Brewery in Nara.、Uh, there was one place you shared about craft beer. And I thought it looks so nice、yes. um, because it's like an old house. It's not、mm. your typical new shop, right? It's、mm. an old house that's been、mm. remodeled, but they had good craft beer, did they? Yeah. I, I couldn't drink that time because I drove there. You know, that, yes. And I that's bought... when you need, you need to take your own growler, which is like a takeout reusable yes, yes. beer container, yeah, right? That, that's, <laughs> the, that's what the owner recommended me. Yes,、yeah. so they, they sell like that. So please try if you have one. And so I bought a few bottles. So yeah, it was, it tasted very unique. And I, the other day, I, Um, I also、uh, had their beer at an、uh, open air、uh, marche or market, and it was the chestnut beer, chestnut flavored beer. Wow. It was so good. Yes. That so, sounds really oh, good. Yes. And so good. I love to promote the craft beer because quite often the craft beer is made using local products、yes. or collaborating with local、mm-hmm. farmers or using local citrus.、Yeah. I know the Rise and Win、uh, breweries in Kamikatsu, they're u- reusing some of the old、uh, farm, farmers,、mm. like old citrus peels, in their beer. Um, they're trying to give the spent grains after、mm-hmm. making the beer back to the farmers.、Mm-hmm. So there's a lot of great sustainable practices by craft、right. breweries. It's wonderful. Yes. So they,、uh, they also make yuzu citrus beer because the area's specialty is yuzu citrus. Yes. So,、uh, so it's, they're using local products. Yes, yes, this place,、uh, this place is Good Wolf Brewery in Higashi Yoshino Village. Yes. I wanna, I wanna try it. I wanna try the yuzu, the yuzu beer. I'm a- Here she talks about introducing a peel of Mitsui Village in Nara. Now, you also shared a beautiful view.、Uh, this is Lizard Tail in yes, Nara. G- Yes, lizard tails. I didn't know about this plant. Do you know? No, it's beautiful though. Yes, so their, their leaves, the, the leaves, their leaves、uh, turn white in, in early summer. Yes, so、uh, the, the village is trying to. Uh, grow those、uh, you know, unique plants all together. That the village in Nara Prefecture, it's called Mitsue Village in Nara Prefecture. Mitsue Village, because you did a tourist brochure for yeah, Mitsue yes, Village, yes, right? Yes. And, and they asked me to make the English one. So I recreated and I didn't translate. I But I collaborated with a professional translator 
And but you know, you can't just translate directly from the Japanese. It sounds a little bit weird. So yeah, I had to、uh, discuss with the translator, and I think it this came out pretty good. <laughs> Yeah, it looks great, and it it reads well, and I think that's a really important hurdle to understand. It's not just about translation; you really need a different copy for English yes, and yes. a different copy for Japanese.、Yes. And I think that's that's where people like you, Akiko, can help so much because you have experience doing both English and Japanese.、Mm. So, really good job. Yes, I can help. I, I'll I'll be the, your translation director or liaison. <laughs> yeah, you can be a bridge, right? <laughs> yes, yes. yes. <laughs> She introduces a very unique Japanese sweet, kimi goromo. This is a very unique sweet. It, you said it's called kimi goromo. Is that right? Yeah, kimi goromo. Ah,、uh, in it, uda. Uda Matsuyama. Uda, Uda, Uda Matsuyama is a his, historic.、Uh, they have this historic townscape. It, it was a castle town. A few, a few stores sell those、uh, sweets, and、Super、it's sweet. fluffy texture、mm, because、uh, made of beaten egg white. You know, <laughs> yeah, but, but the the area is、Not、also famous with a kudzu, kudzu, a very very good kudzu store. Uh, yeah. But I had kudzu noodles the other day mm, 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 from the Kokoro Care Package. I talked to the mm, mm. the people who do Kokoro、yeah. Care Package.、Yeah. That was interesting. Yeah, kind of natural starch, right? Yes.、Yeah, so the the area uh, uh, is this place、uh, that sell the authentic, very very high quality kudzu starch. Yes. I found this great information about kudzu. And it is a perennial vine, which is often a trouble in many countries as it takes over. It reminds me of the talk with Winifred Bird as she talks about the trouble with bamboo taking over. So kudzu, like bamboo, if it's used for food and other products, it is kept under control. But when people stop buying products with kudzu or bamboo, It gets out of control and it becomes wild and invasive in a lot of different areas. So it has so many great functions as a starch. It thickens up gel, so it could be used for wagashi sweets, but also many other soup stocks or things that you're trying to thicken. Wow, it's so nice to have products which are grown in Japan, made in Japan, sold in Japan, eaten in Japan, right?、Uh, so much of Japanese foods are imported.、Uh, there is sixty percent is imported, so we want to support these locally made. Yes.、Uh, Marion says it's like a soft meringue, right? <laughs> meringue. Yes, yes、yeah. meringue. Thank you, Marion. <laughs> that that it's not too sweet. It melts in your mouth, very fluffy.、Yes. Yeah, my favorite as a kid during Christmas time was meringue cookies. So cookies、oh. made with meringue, and inside they have a like chocolate surprise. So my my mom used to call them surprise meringues.、Oh. Is it hard? A little bit crunchy on the outside, and then soft and chewy on the inside. Oh, oh you're making me miss my childhood here. <laughs> Do you have a favorite Christmas food in Japan? Um, Christmas sweets. Sweets. Well, I oh, Japanese. We mochi. mochi we have uh, you know, zenzai,、uh, oshiruko. Uh, mochi with、time. red bean sweet soup, and that's vegan usually, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's totally vegan, and we eat it、uh, after the New Year's with the、uh, kagami mochi, that the mochi di- for display, because you have to take it down after the certain period of New Year. Mm. And then you you can roast it and make it yeah 
fluffy and tasty. I love the warm motif. You, That's wonderful. In the bean paste soup, sweet bean paste soup. Yeah, I wow. love it. There are two types of sweet bean paste soup eaten in winter in Japan, zenzai and oshiruko. Both are made from azuki beans, sugar, and pounded mochi rice cakes. It's great. Uh, so just to remind people of how they can see your work uh, on Instagram, ENN Tourism. Yes, we have uh, our Facebook page account, ENN Tourism, facebook.com slash ENN Tourism. Uh, yeah, and Instagram, and we have Twitter, ENN Tourism. So okay. it, it covers the west part of Mie Prefecture and east part of Nara Prefecture. Wonderful. Actually, and if people yes. want to find out more about you and your designs, your graphic designs, uh, you have your own website here, akikohayashi.com. Yeah. Very easy to find. Yes, it's the same as that Behance. It, they share the same information. So either way. Wonderful. Mm. Thank you so much. That's our time. Thank you so Thank much, you Akiko. So much, Joy. Thank you. It was wonderful talking with you. And I hope yeah. we get to meet up sometime yes. and yes. explore rural yes. Naira. I'd love to. Yeah, I've, I, I, I'd love to visit Hiroshima too. And Yes. Yeah, please uh, get in yeah. touch if you do come down this area. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much for all the great work that you're doing, Akiko. And thank you, everybody, for joining us today. Have thank a great you day. Today. Thank you. Have a good day to you, too. Thank Bye. you very much. Take care. Bye. Bye.